Hi there guys, it's Stranger Hydra 9 again, and today I'm going to be doing just a little discussion um, on my thoughts coming up on this year's 2013's E3, um, as well as why I think that Steam and Xbox Live are going in the same direction. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned if you want to hear more about that. So the first thing I want to talk about is E3 and... How pretty much it seemed like yesterday in a single day people's ideas about the Xbox One had a 180 degree shift. Um, and I'm not very surprised because, you know, I've been saying to my friends that I think a lot of this hate against the Xbox One is really, you know, unjustified and pretty much like everybody was like, talking about all the bad features of the actual hardware um and you know pretty much in one day when we've seen all these you know launch releases that look super badass uh then everybody was like well maybe we were wrong the xbox one starts to look pretty good um and now of course some people are really going to still be um i don't know how to say it i guess they're going to be angry at Microsoft because of some of the design decisions that they made with the Xbox One. Um, I can understand that. There are some things that really were not done in a kosher way, um, especially the lending of games to friends, which for those of you who don't know, there's going to be basically a limit now where you can only lend the game to one friend. Um, this is really bad. I'm, I'm not going to lie about this. This is stupid like pretty much it's just stupid um but I, basically what i'm trying to talk about today is how i feel that xbox one and steam are basically becoming the same thing and there's a lot of reasons behind this number one i just want you to look there's a reason why i have my steam interface up right now okay what do you notice about this interface okay you have your store your library, your community, and basically yourself. Now here I have my friends, okay? And like you see one item complete, so I go here, these are all my downloads, right? Don't, doesn't this kind of look familiar? I mean, this looks like what Xbox One is trying to go to. Um, there's also a big deal now with Basically, the PS4 and the Xbox 360, I mean, the Xbox 720 slash 1, which I still like to call it the Xbox 720, just because the Xbox One, to me, is the original Xbox. Um, but you can see almost immediately how, how pretty much Xbox One is trying to become Steam. Like, literally, you have online game downloads, pretty much. Yeah, you have a disc. But the disc is nothing more than an activation. The disc is truly worthless, to be totally honest with you. Because I really think the only reason that they're even doing a disc at all is because they thought, okay, two things. One, we're already going to have it where uh, we have a Blu-ray drive. So it's like we have to have a disc there. Like we already have to have a disc tray. And B is that to a please big big um big big sellers of hardware like gamestop now you would say well, why do they need gamestop they can just you know sell things completely online and just do away with gamestop and they'll make more money like that they will on games but people have brought up the very valid point that i hadn't even thought about as much as i should have and the reason that they cannot do this for consoles is they actually have to have these stores to sell the console in the first place that is very different than steam in the sense that steam is you get a computer you build a computer or you buy a computer you install steam so steam doesn't have anything to do with you getting a computer but on the consoles this is a big big difference you don't I mean, yes, you could get a, a console, let's say, over Amazon or, or some sort of online retailer, but they know that a lot of people are used to 
getting games and consoles at stores like GameStop. Okay, so what they're doing here is they're trying to give one more generation of like pretty much we're doing everything that Steam is doing, but we're still giving you something to make it easier to transition to an online digital media. Um, I really believe by the next console generation, the disc will be just wiped out completely. I don't believe there'll be a disc on whatever you want to call it, the Xbox 1080 or the, what is it? It's going to be the fourth generation Xbox by that point. I don't think there'll be a disc. One of the coolest things that I think is 100% great for gaming is how they, both PS4 and the Xbox 720 slash one are going to AMD processors. The reason that I say that this is good is because the hardware is becoming more and more synchronized between PCs and consoles. And what that's going to do is that's going to be much better for the developers building games so they're not having like crappy ports that just perform horribly because, you know, you're building the game for this device, you're building the game for this device, the coding is so different, and that just turns out to be shit. That's no good. That's, that's real bad. So... I think that really Xbox One is trying to go the way of Steam. And I wanted to touch on this point. And a lot of people, before we knew more news about the Xbox One, they were talking about the PS4. Okay. Now, there's a problem with the PS4. And I, I'll say this. And I, like I said, I love the PS2. I think Sony makes some good hardware. But the problem with the PS4 is that there's no way, in my personal opinion, this is just my personal opinion, that PS4 can even get close to what Steam or Xbox One is doing. And the reason that that is is because they would have to do such a big gap. They're, they're so far behind now that like it would take them pretty much like literally 70 to 80% improvement just to get up to what steam is doing which is basically having a friends list you can do voice calls on steam uh you can buy games on steam you have steam sales so basically all the pitching this like well we're just going to make it where the developer can charge whatever they want for the game and you can make games uh all of this has been done by steam already we already have like steam green light we already have indie games on steam they're doing nothing new I mean, they're so far behind the curve at this point that they're like, you know, it's ridiculous. They're talking about like they're reinventing the wheel, but like everybody but them sees that they're not talking about anything new. So why are people on this big PS4 bandwagon? Because I think people really don't think of the PC yet. Like the price of hardware is still such a problem that when they got angry at Microsoft, they just automatically said, hey, we should do, um, you know, we should go to the PS4. But this is almost a Twitch reflex. Like nobody, I, I really believe 90% of the people saying that, there are 10% that really believe that, but 90% of the people will end up buying an Xbox One or just stop gaming. If they feel the privacy intrusion is so much um, that... You know, they're going to be like, I can't deal with this. Then they're going to just stop gaming. They are not going to go to the PS4. So I hope, guys, this has just given you a good thing to think about. And uh, I would appreciate your comments on what you guys think. Um, so without further ado, this has been Stranger Hydra 9, and I'm out.